Hey y'all, it's Anime Gaming, and today I'm going to be live reacting to Gekage no Gitaro episode 79, and I'm going to start the live reaction from the 2 minutes and 5 second mark, because y'all know the draw, I just usually just skip the openings and the flash forwards, and without further delay, I'm going to start this live react. <coughs> Let's live reaction in 1, 0, go! I like the music playing in the back right now. Huh. I love the Halloween spirit. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Well, you know, for a rat man, he could probably finesse himself to get some candy. <laughs> you know? Oh my. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty interesting. Oh, that's an adorable little name. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cute. I say kinda. The thing is, why would Bratman even help them? Okay, I guess that. I guess it makes sense. Oh, the fart. <laughs> the deadly fart! <laughs> Backbeard Jr. did deserve that. Let's just be real. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was, okay, Komori Neko. Cool. Cool name. Huh. Komori Neko, he's got off of more than that. Way more than that. Can't just be all there banging without anything to offer, like money or... or his treasure or something like that. I like how Ram doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> Question that money's even real. But then <laughs> what? Dang, and right when I was like, alright, Ratman's going on me when he helped um when it was near the end of the Treason and Shinral arc, I was like, yay. <laughs> oh, that's his music. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I like how it builds off of one of the previous shows where Rollercloth was trying to hit on woman too and makes that joke more layered. I mean, what are the... Hmm. It makes me wonder if that's an actual vampire yoka. Oh yeah, no, it's just a person at the costume. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, it's sweet. I mean, the way Komori Neko does it is kind of cute, but even though we know his intentions are evil. Okay, right on, Ratman. At the very least, he's not doing something directly evil. <laughs> okay. Can't wait to see where this is gonna go. Ah. I'm impressed that he thought there is through that deeply in a short amount of time. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, oh, I can only imagine the stank if you actually puked on poor Rollercloth. And the music, too, makes it sound all hopeful for him. It only helps increase the comedic factor, at least for me. Yep, and he's gone without a trace, just like how it works for most scammers. You know, in a way, I kind of like this. If this if this ends up being a scenario where Ratman can actually get away with scamming someone and it prevents something terrible from happening, that would be pretty cool. Huh. I would actually be more impressed. 
Then he needs to find better hiding places. <laughs> Dang. Okay. I think that's like the first time he's ever done that before. I like it. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see in it. Oh no. They're probably gonna get both kisses from Oh, cat sandwich, oh yeah. I mean, that's what happens though when you try to scam someone else from the get-go, you know? Oh! <laughs> Can't wait to see what this cool bar looking dude's gonna do to this dude. To this yokai. <laughs> Oh yeah, they probably think it's some costume considering it is Halloween. I mean... You know, if it becomes a popular figure in the media, then I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be so bad for a yokai, you know? Instead of trying to go for his evil ways, he could try to become famous? Get money out of that? And... Possibly maybe forget about trying to revive Backbeard. animations could be better, but I've seen worse crime animations from other series. I like how at the very least there's defined faces for the most part, so I'll, I'll give the art staff that much. Oh, okay. Aww, this family looks really, really sweet. Oh, this is cute. I wonder what caused him, though, to go from that to how he currently is, though. I mean, did Backbeard kill his family or something? Oh, something? Behind the scenes? Hmm. Whoa. Stop. 
I mean, I can't say Ratman didn't deserve it, because he did. <laughs> oh my, now it's really getting into his head. I wonder if all the tunes gonna somehow power him up though. Okay, looks like looking like it is because he got that um, dark aura around him. Oof, it's probably going to hurt him so much to use the restroom after that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the animation here is super weak. Hopefully they're saving some good animated cuts for maybe the finale of their fight. Yeah, Toei really didn't have much budget for this episode, did they? But I guess not all the episodes can be aces. The Secret Tunnel actually physically defeated and having to be saved by Roller Cloth actually gives the crew more to do, so I actually like this. Oh snap. <laughs> I don't like how I waste no time. <laughs> I love it. Working responsibilities. Y'all can't just be all playing at work. Oh, I like those two little birdies. <laughs> They're so cute. Hey, that's all right, man. <laughs> For trying to scam on a day that people celebrate. Well, at least a portion of people celebrate. Oh, at least it's a meaningless fault, though. Oh, snap! Carmelia, then! <clears throat> oh, snap. So that chick w So it was her! Oh! I guess my instincts weren't completely off, then. Okay!
Oh. Oh. Okay, that was pretty nice. I'd say of a scale of 1 to 10, with a 1 being abysmal, 5 being average, and 10 being exceptional, I thought this was a really, really solid 7 out of 10, but because of that final sequencer, I'm going to bump it up to a 7.5 out of 10. I really thought this episode was nice, it was above average, and while it may have lacked the animation quality, it made it up for all the other departments, like... The comedy. Because, for one, I'm usually a fan of physical humor when characters are here. I, I like slapstick comedy. Because it leads into hilarious situations. And then I like how it kind of has a small, a nice moral message too. Where it, if anyone like scams people, usually there's negative consequences against them. Like in the... Oh, okay, let's see the pre... Okay, let's see. Maybe they were bitten by Cormelia? Possibly? I could be off though. Okay, uh, Yokai with kind of like bat looking wings. Hmm. Alright. Gotta say, the norm from next week actually looks pretty good. Gotta say. So, so I had, like how again it had a nice moral message for kids that don't try to scam people. But then again, pretty much. Any episode that has Rat Man kind of has that message. But regardless, I like how they totally dresses it up by having lots and lots of comedy during this episode. Then aside from that, I thought this episode was nice because aside from the nice comedy, it was nice for them to take advantage of the rest of the gig again, no Guitaro cast. You got Roll of Cloth giving Guitaro a nice save after he gets physically dominated for a bit. And... They sort of end up winning the conversation due to the luck of the sun rising at just the right moment so that Kitaro can hit Komoni Neko with the, with the remote Geta. So I do like that. Again, further demonstrating that Kitaro, he's not, he can't just muscle his way into victory each and every fight. At times, he either needs help or he needs luck, or even both, like in this instance. So that's what I also like about this episode. Hell, that's what I've been really loving about this season. We've had at least a few instances where Guitaro, he ain't gonna win. He hasn't been winning fights through due to sheer strength. He's been winning confrontations due to his friends or luck. And I really like that, actually. So that's what I've been really loving about this season and this episode in general from a story standpoint. And on top of that, to dress up Carmelia doing stuff in the background, like major plot related stuff, while all the comedy is going down is really, really good. And like the foreshadowing too, because when I saw that chick with, uh, when I saw Carmelia, but in like a human form, I was even thinking, yeah, this, this could be a yokai for a sec, you know? And I like that, like the little foreshadowing, showing you that Toei, they don't just do ass pulls like in some animes they do ass pulls. No, here they script things and they use the visuals to script some snippets of foreshadowing here and there. So that's why I like the script. And as for from a character standpoint, you actually do see some Ratman character development because when he was working with Komori Neko, well, he agreed to help him out, he wasn't really going to actually go through with it. He was going to scam Komoni Neko out of his money, and then trick him by, like, um, giving him tomato juice. So I do like that. It shows progression in Ratman's character, that he's not doing anything potentially super malicious for money. I mean, I guess you could argue that scamming someone is malicious, but y'all know what I mean. When I mean malicious in the instance of getting a guitar, I mean something that could, like, um, hurt individuals physically you know things of that nature so i do like that it does show you subtle amounts of random character development there and on top of that i enjoyed komori neko's character too i gotta say and aside from that that's about it from the character standpoint as for the animation yes that was a weak point in the episode it's probably the only thing that's going to keep this from being like an 8 out of 10 episode for me. But this episode was still pretty good 
out to be a 7.5 out of 10. Art was actually on model, so I'll give Toei some credit for that. And I liked the soundtrack. It was actually better than the typical episode because there was like... I felt like there was like two new soundtracks in this episode. So definitely the composer came to work. And the voice performances were great as always. And yeah, I liked the episode. So anyways, y'all, give me your thoughts on how you felt about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Rate the video, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. And just a heads up, I might possibly be late for, for the live reaction video for next week, but I'm going to try to be early. Alright, y'all. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys later if, uh, if y'all come back for more. Alright, y'all. Bye-bye.